this week we're talking about fit and flare skirts. One of the things I love about going to fashion shows is that you get to see the people there road testing all the looks that you've previously only seen in the magazines on the models. You get to see them, people like basically idiots like me who actually wear this stuff out in public. So I get to see other people who are braver than me trying this stuff out before I have to wear it in front of you. Um, and this season one thing that really stood out was the fit and flare skirt, which is basically a pencil skirt which kicks out at the bottom, fit and flare. Um, what you really noticed seeing this on people in the audience instead of on the catwalk is it actually looks good on normal people's bodies which believe me is not true of all fashion. Um, so there's quite a few different styles out there on the high street and in the designer stores this season so we've got some nice ones to show you today. This one I'm wearing here this is Peter Pilotto. Um, Peter Pilotto is a London Fashion Week designer and he really owns this kind of skirt shape, this particular skirt and one other one that we've got on the rail were pretty much everywhere this fashion week. So since this is kind of the alpha skirt, we've got another one. Um, this is basically the same skirt in a different colorway and you can see pencil skirt and then kicks out here. I think what's nice about this shape is that we all have a pencil skirt, but A, it can be a bit annoying and hobbly to walk in and B, the pencil skirt does have a quite an office strict mentality and by giving it that little bit of a kick there it just makes it a bit more fun doesn't it another label on the london catwalk that makes amazing skirts that you should really check out is preen um very kind of understated look preen but the kind of label that when you buy the clothes you'll just wear them forever and this i think is one of those pieces this is a, a really nice pencil skirt with this little almost like a kind of peplum at the knee i don't even know if that exists as a term but that's what i'm calling it this one here, this is by Creatures of the Wild, and this sort of makes a feature of the fact that it's almost two skirts in one, that you've got the kind of strict fitted skirt and then you've got the little kind of flippy whoosh number uh, by actually making it one skirt over another. Now the one I'm wearing today and the one that you saw most of in uh, the audience among the norms is the knee length fit and flare skirt, but there is another catwalk look this season, which is a kind of Stella McCartney catwalk look, which is a much shorter skater version of the fit and flare. And I think the best high street approximation we have here is this Zara number. Um, I've seen kind of Gwyneth Paltrow, those kind of people wearing this kind of skirt, just with um, very, very long, thin bare legs and, uh, and a nude high heel, and it looks amazing. So, you know, if you could do it, why not? This one here, similar shape, but kind of softer, not so um, tight over the hips, but lovely kind of flippy skater number here. And I just love this color. This is Lanvin. This one here is DKNY. And I think if this shape suits you, this is a very good version of it and one which would be a really serviceable long runner in your wardrobe. Lastly, this one, which is Alexander Wang. It's kind of a lovely thick, uh, almost a scuba fabric pleated down over the tummy here nice and squeezing you in. Um, American New York skater girl take on the look.